All right, guys, this is day two of the turbo install. So what just happened, you know, I didn't really record it, but. I'll be out here just laughing. We did. So, yo, forget uh, Bobby, bro, forget Bobby. So this is what we did. Both me. So, I can't even see this shit. So, <laughs> let me present. <laughs> this is stupid. All right, so yesterday we got up to basically we mounted all the hot side and the, the cold side. Uh, it was pretty difficult considering because like all the things were so tight. Today what we ended up doing was uh, we got the oil cooler uh, installed. The proper way to install the oil cooler right that down, right that down. is not in front of the intercooler, it's behind the intercooler because it just needs enough static pressure. But the intercooler is an intercooler. It needs some airflow. Genius! <laughs> So we got the uh, mounted to the, the plastic thingy so. under tray. Let's see if I can show them. Real quick. Yeah, yeah. So it's mounted there. It's back there. It's hard to see, yeah, but it's, it's a Cetra it's right there. Too. Cetra. Don't get none of that BS machine yeah. shitty motor. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta get one of these bad boy Cetras. Uh, so we ran the lines through there. We ran it right next to the condenser unit. Usually people are running around the the washer bottle, but we ran it through the condenser unit because we have the intercooler piping going through there. Uh, then we have the, the thermostatic plate here with the, the sandwich plate below it. If it's just like within millimeters of touching either the metal components of the intercooler tubing, which is fine because it's just soft at the end of the day too. Uh, other than that, we're almost there. We just got yeah. to change the fuel pump and stuff. Fuel pump and uh, tighten everything up. Yeah, a couple things. Tighten it up. And then that's... That'll be that. And that'll be that, boys. That's all she wrote. Sorry that this is all over the place. It's just us kind of like trying to figure out where the hoses are gonna go, how everything is gonna fit, you know, and messing around with it. Uh, the kit is good. Yeah, it's a good kit. But like most things, uh, that it's not, not always. It doesn't fit 100. percent Yeah. And that's why the instructions are very iffy. Yeah, the instructions they are <laughs> That's one thing that I will say about this. But then again, it is very straightforward, yeah. unlike most other cars. As you saw, we put the fuel pump in the car. I didn't really go over that too much. There's so many videos online. I'll leave one in the description if you want to see how to upgrade your fuel pump. Um, and we just turned the car on um, just to, oh, actually we put some new oil into it and we let it run for a little bit after we tighten everything down. Um, you know, just to make sure that there's no leaks or anything like that. So what Z is doing is he put in five quarts to start with. He's gonna put in the six quart now and then we're gonna let it run for a little bit. At first the car wouldn't start because we already had the um, four bar uh, sensor in there and it wouldn't start because of that so then Z realized that that was the issue so you know he put in the stock one and the car turned right on. Yeah because the stock tune is not calibrated for that map sensor because it has increased uh, exactly. resolution so with the stock one it, it was basically thinking there wasn't enough air pressure so it wasn't giving a fuel. Facts. So uh, he just put in the last quart we're gonna turn it on again let it run for a little bit make sure there's no leaks or anything like that and then uh, and then there's only a couple other things we gotta do before before we can uh, you know actually get it running and stuff like that. Shit, fun. Recording? Yeah, boy. Yo, Bobby's mad ugly, bro. Look at this shit. Bro, look at this thing. Guys, she's alive, but she's not ready yet. A couple things left. 
Yes, sir. All right, guys. New day. Hopefully, the last day of install. Um, it's been like three weeks. Yeah, it's been down for a while. It's because we've been waiting for some things. We've been back and forth with the tuner. We've been waiting for the um, flex fuel kit, which I didn't mention earlier. So I'm gonna be going flex fuel. I'll explain all that later in a different video, but.